Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported all the files required for this project. You can download them from the below link in the description, this template is also available for free. You can download it from my web store. Now let's see how to create our logo animation, create a new composition. I will name it as Golden Logo. For this composition, I will set time duration to 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. I will name this layer, Noise. For this noise layer, in Effects and Preset, search for Fractal Noise, add it to the solid layer. For Fractal Noise, set Fractal Type to, Max. Set Contrast to, 200. Change brightness to, minus 10. In transform, turn off the uniform scaling. Reduce the scale width. Set it to near about 50. Now let's increase the scale height, increase it up to, 2500. Change rotation value to, 100. Now make sure you are at start of the timer line, create a keyframe for offset. Now go at end of the timer line. Change the offset position value as shown. You can see the preview. Change evolution to, minus 120 degrees. Perfect. Now for this noise layer, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the noise layer. Slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for fast blur box. Add it to the noise layer. Change blur radius to near about 25. Change iteration to, 1. Select Repeat Edge Pixels. If you want you can adjust the blur radius amount, to make it slightly less blurry. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this noise layer. I will name it as Noise Composition. Select Move All Attributes into the new composition. Now from the Project Panel, add the logo to the timer line. Scale your logo if needed. Here I will scale my logo. Now pre-compose this logo layer. Name it as logo. For noise composition, change track mat to, alpha mat logo. For noise composition, in effects and preset, search for CC blob lies, add it to the noise composition. Now in blowiness, change blob layer to logo. Change softness value to, 3. Cut away value to, 3. In light, change light type to, point light. Adjust the light position as shown. In shading, change roughness to, 0 0.4. For noise composition. In Layer Styles, select Bevel and Emboss. In Bevel and Emboss, change size to, 25. Change altitude to 25. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment, 
in effects and preset. Search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now to get the perfect golden color, you need to adjust the curves as shown. perfect, you can see the preview. Here our golden logo part is created. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as logo animation. From the project panel, add the background image file to the timeline. Now add the golden logo composition to the timeline. Create duplicate of the golden logo composition, we will use below logo composition as shadow composition. For golden logo composition, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the logo composition. Change fill color to black. Hide above golden logo composition. Now in effects and preset, search for CC radial blur. Add it to golden logo composition. For radial blur, change type to fading zoom. Set amount to, 50. Now at start, adjust the center as shown. Create keyframe for center. Now at end of the timeline, adjust the center position as shown. Perfect. Now for this golden logo, change opacity to, 70%. Unhide the above composition. Now from the project panel, add the flare zero to the timeline. For flare, change mode to screen. Now adjust the position for this flare. Now in effects and preset, Search for tritone. Add it to the flare. Now change the midtone color. Here I will use the color from the logo. Now place this flare at 2 seconds. Now from project panel, add the smoke media file to the timeline. For smoke, change mode to, overlay. Place this layer at near about 10 frames. For this smoke layer, we will change opacity to 50%. Now from the project panel, add flare 1 and flare 2 media files to the timeline. For flare 1 and flare 2, change mode to add. Now add lens flare media to the timeline. Now create duplicate of lens flare. Now again create duplicate. For this lens flare. We will change rotation to 180 degrees. Now again create duplicate of this lens flare. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as black. Now select the ellipse tool. Now double click to create ellipse mask. For mask 1, select on inverted. For mask, Change mask feather value, as shown. For solid layer, change the opacity to, 70%. Now create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, 
Search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curve, as shown. Perfect. Let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Fill. Press T to bring up opacity. Add 2 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, change opacity to 0%. At start change opacity to 100%. Go at 5 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. At end of the timer line. Change opacity to 100%. Select all created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now slightly adjust the speed graph. Now let's change the background image to 3D, golden logo composition and flare 0 to 3D. Let's create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change null to 3D. For camera parent it to null layer. For null, press P to bring up the position, at start. Create keyframe for position, now increase position value for z-axis as shown. Now at end of the timer line, change position value to zero. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our cinematic golden logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this video.